channel. Today's Tuesday tip of the day is something that really is great in a pinch when you don't have a concealer that either matches your foundation or you run out of a concealer or you just need something to cover a blemish that isn't as light as say your under eye concealer and you want it to be a little bit darker and you just don't have it on hand. Uh, it's a great little trick that you can use, you know, in a pinch. I'm not saying do it all the time, but hey, you can. I mean, to each his own. Um, what you're going to need for this is your foundation that you're wearing that day, translucent powder, and um, a small detail brush. Just a very th fine, you know, little tiny brush uh, for mixing and applying it to the blemishes on your face or your under eye if you want. Um, what you're going to do is, I'm going to show you in the video also, but what you're going to do is you're just going to mix one part of the translucent powder to two parts of the foundation. You want to make sure that it's thick enough that it's going to allow for some full coverage, but it's thin enough that it's not pasty and it's not like you're putting on clay on your face. So, you know, you might have to play with it pending, you know, the foundation you're using and um, the translucent powder that you're using, the setting powder. But um, when mixed together perfectly, you know, you can cover up. I have a horrible blemish on my cheek. I mean, texture wise, it's still there. I mean, you know, you're going to see the actual physical bump, but it is red, I was picking at it, it has a little scab in the middle, it is just something that is not, you know, acceptable in my eye <laughs> to be walking around with. So it's, you know, great because most of my concealers are very, very light. I do have a palette that I do use, you know, a Morphe concealer palette, but if you don't have something like this, you know, or, you know, you're not self-tanned or you are self-tanned and you just don't have that foundation or concealer to match that darker foundation, this is a great little trick that you can use that you know, really does work and is, you know, neat. I just used, the powder that I used was um, super inexpensive, an e.l.f. high definition powder. Nothing crazy, sorry about all the fingerprints. <laughs> um, and my uh, foundation that I wore today, which is the CoverGirl At Last Stay Luminous foundation. I'm in the shade 825. Um, so if you wanna stick around and see how I apply it to my face and what I do, um, stay tuned. Thanks. Bye. Hi everyone. Okay, I am going to cover this nasty pimple up. First, I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation today. I'm in the color 825. I'm going to go in with two coats of this. I'm going to let the first one set for a second, and then I'm going to go in with the second one to really get a nice flawless finish. Then I'm going to go in with my translucent powder and foundation. I'm going to mix it on the back of my hand. I started off with one pump and then when I was mixing it realized I needed a second pump. So two pumps to one part of the translucent powder to get the perfect consistency for the concealer. And then I'm going to apply that under my eye and all over my blemishes. And then I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender, a dampened beauty blender. And then I'm going to go back in and spot touch the pimples that uh, are protruding still and, you know, still showing some pink. Then I'm going to set everything with the same translucent powder that I used before. So nothing moves around throughout the rest of the day. Then I'm going to go in in a second and uh, touch up that one bad one and use my finger, the warmth of my finger, to melt it into my skin. Then I'm going to go into my bronzer. I'm going to set it a little with the powder and then go in with my bronzer, my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, and then my blush, and then my highlighter like normal. And that's it. Okay, so it was that simple. I mean, it's so easy. It's ridiculous. Um, I almost, like I always say, feel kind of silly telling you this because you may have already heard of it or you may have already tried it, but it really works. I think the key part to it is using a translucent powder, not a foundation powder. You know, you want something that's not going to alter the color of the foundation because you want to keep the foundation and that concealer for especially the blemish, um, you know, spots to stay even. You don't want to alter the color that, you know, you already have laid down on your face. 
So anyway, I hope this tip helps you. I hope you use it. You know, if you like the idea and you like the trick, give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.